coming up in this show. Hello and welcome to another update from 3L Engineering. I'm here in Cape Town and we're going to be looking at what's happening in the workshop with Jean-Pierre and the guys. But we're going to start with the arrival of these two bodies from Johannesburg. Why is this relevant? I hear you ask. Well, quick geography lesson. Johannesburg is situated on the eastern plateau of South Africa, called the High Felt at 1,753 meters, or if you're American, 5,751 feet above sea level. The air up there is thinner and, unlike Cape Town's proximity to the salty sea, is far kinder and less corrosive to metal body panels, especially 55-year-old ones. Before I hand back to Jean, I have some hot off the press news, especially for our US audience. We have just appointed a dedicated and experienced distributor to handle all of our United States inquiries. His name is Johan. He's from North Carolina and is no stranger to the automotive industry. So, if you're from the States and you want to talk to someone locally, send us an inquiry from the website and Johan will contact you directly. Back to you, Jean. 2024 has really started with a bang. We are very busy, which is always a good thing. Behind me, you can see the final touches going onto the UK car. The dyno work, etc. has already been done. We are now fitting the body, and obviously that what goes with fitting the body is the upholstery, the windows, window winders, all the finishing touches, running boards. But it's an awesome looking car, and we're very happy with the achievement or what we've managed to get from the engine. So yeah, it's been a good build. If we've got fuel, which we obviously have, mm-hmm. we've got spark, Yep. We've, we've got oil pressure, I presume that has been checked. Yep and we've got water, Yep. then it should be able to turn and go. Yeah. Over here on the gauge, we've got our oil pressure gauge, and you'll see the oil pressure climbing as we are cranking the car. Perfect. And obviously as she she heats up, she settles on about... She will come down uh, a bit again. About 30. It's set 30 to, BSI. Yeah. Yes, so BSI. we're sitting about 30, and as we rev, it climbs it to climbs back it up actually. Yeah. The car starts and runs, but of course, we need to make sure she's set up right for a long life of cruising and head turning. So it's off to the dyno to check everything out. This time we decided to do the dyno runs with outer body or steering wheel. It was good to see Herman again from Hat Dynamics. He was ready to work his magic. Dyno runs are not just about max power and hitting the rev limiter. We want to deliver a car that's set up to last, often as a daily driver. Herman starts by checking out startup mixtures and running through the rev range. She was definitely running well and the timing was fine, but there was just a hint of timing issues at the top end over 5,000 RPM. We decided to call it a day and come back with a new crank sensor. Apparently, according to Pia, the current crank trigger was giving a dirty signal. What a difference a day makes. That's better. Sweet and smooth all the way up to 6,000 RPM.
205 kilowatts and 346 newton meters of torque. Or, again, if you're American, that's about 275 horsepower and 255 foot-pounds of torque. And that pretty much brings us bang up to date and the delicate task of fitting the beautiful body to the eager chassis. In preparation, we have installed most of the carpet and soundproofing. Zaren first takes out the rotisserie and then it's a three-man lift going forward. Although we've done this many times already, each fitting is unique. This body, although now in showroom condition, is still around 55 years old, and it only takes a couple of millimetres out of true to make the process a little more tense than it should be. But, a bit of fettling here and there, some gentle persuasion, and she's in place. Sweet. We secure the body to the chassis using the original 20 or so anchor points. Testament to Jean's design and precision that all the holes line up. Almost done. Wow, doesn't that floor pan look so sweet? Here you can easily see the BMW M5 suspension, all torqued up and ready to lower onto her boots again. We're currently busy with three vehicles for the USA, two of them LS powered and one Audi. We have completed the three chassis with their suspensions and all the components before body fitting. So we are busy doing body prepping and getting them ready to go to the spray painters. Two of the engines have arrived for the cars and one engine is busy being rebuilt. The year has really started with a bang. We've got a lot to do. We're trying in between this to also work on our three-wheeler, which is quite an exciting project and then the Roadster, which is our demo car, has been a little bit neglected because of all the customer orders, but we are working on that at the same time. Yes, as soon as the car leaves for the UK, we aim to move forward again with the Roadster. This is very exciting for us, and really we can't wait to bring you that episode. John mentioned earlier about the two Chevy LS3 engines that have just arrived. Here he's reliving his youth, just like Christmas Day, lucky boy, and wrapping two very big presents. Now, when I make a montage, similar to the one you've just watched, I usually put music underneath it, which apparently some of you don't like. So, for you purists out there, here is the team stripping two donor vehicles, sans music, let me know in the comments if you prefer it au naturel.
out and then turn at the end. Stripping the body from the original chassis is only the start. Before our old ladies can go to the body shop for a makeover, they need to lose a bit of weight. So it's out with a grinder. It's not easy being a 55 year old supermodel. And that's the end of another update from 3L Engineering. Full vehicles going to the States, cars going to the UK. We are certainly very busy, but never too busy for you. If you're keen in getting involved with the V8 Stealth Beetle family, then go to the website. All the details are there. Fire off an email and we'll get in touch. And from us at the workshop, we'll see you again soon.